I have no connection to any organized crime, and the mere fact that you'll get that notion, quite frankly, is offensive and reprehensible. Last question for me, I promise, Mr. Tarkin. Did you attempt to have me killed? What is going on with this guy? Who is this guy? I would like to know who in my administration is leaking information to the media. I reach out to our friends. I think we have something that requires their expertise. Warriors around don't get caught in the mosh pit. Fuel to the fire, ain't nobody can stop it. Trouble in my city, but you know I'm across it. Got a 40 on my hip and I'm liable to spark it. Throw down these hits, my click is indivisible. I aim you duck, I squeeze, now you invisible. I'm not afraid of getting physical. All these different chemicals are fucking up my visuals. Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners. Yo, we notorious, we ain't no runners. Bloods on my hands, got slugs on my gunners. Yo, we some warriors in. Hello everyone, and welcome back to San Andreas' Finest. We are rejoining Harper Street slash Dark Matter. If you guys haven't seen that video, you now know the truth. <laughs> you guys, uh, some of you guessed right, some of you did not. Uh, but th for those of you who guessed right, unlike me who went to the wrong door, congratulations, you were correct. Harper Street is Dark Matter. What he does now is entirely unknown. We know what his motives are, sort of. He wasn't uh, too clear to a dying man as to uh, what he was going to do. Good, how are you? Good, if you want to follow me towards the cars. Absolutely. So this is uh, the governor's protective detail, or one of them. I believe this is one of the troopers from last time. Hi, uh, Mr. Street. Uh, I'm Trooper uh, Murdoch. Yes, sir. I believe you were with us last time. Yes, I was. So, uh, do you know if the other assistant coming for the governor? Uh, that I do not know. Okay, if so, we'll have one of you ride with me in the front, uh, but one of you will be riding in the back with the governor. All right, sounds good. So, we'll just wait here by the fountain until the governor exits his house and uh, gets ready here with the detail. So, why are we here? <laughs> well, we are going to a press briefing at Station 1. It is, uh, the governor's holding it. It's in regards to the BM-01 virus, the status of that, as well as um, a tornado that we recently had. I really hope I got that tornado video out already <laughs> before this one, but that's um, also part of it as well. There's the governor. All right, Mr. Street, you're going to be with the governor in the first car, right? All right, sounds good. Good day, Governor. Master Street, how are you? I'm doing well in yourself. I'm mighty fine, thank you. I'm ready when you are, okay. Sarge. Yep. So I believe they have the uh, armored people in the... Uh, armored people. I gotta say that like they're not all wearing plate uh, armor. But um, I believe in the back... Uh, we have the SWAT units, or RSU, or whatever the hell they call them, so I don't know. <laughs> I say ESU because I'm from New York. Okay? Yeah, I say, e I, I say ESU because I'm from New York. I don't live in the city, but I know what ESU is, so that's why I say that. Looks like we'll be going to... Yeah, so we're going to a press briefing. It's going to be uh, for... CM01, uh, the tornado, and God knows what else the governor is going to bring up in this meeting. So, Governor, what uh, topics are we discussing at the press briefing today? 
Uh, other topics would be the most recent weather events. The uh, tornado, I believe it was, that passed through. We will be uh, commencing in a, a moment of silence in respect to those that we lost. And I will be announcing a few things in regards to that as well. It will be an update on life in the government. And then also a declaration of sorts at the end. And then we'll be answering some questions in regards to, well, everything that's been going on. Understood. Is there anything you need me to do specifically? As of this moment, not right now. However, I do believe I've got some work for you. Is there anyone going up to the podium ahead of you to announce you? Yes, my press secretary at the moment will be is currently there right now, tending to all of that. We'll have the, uh, I believe, the head of public works speaking in regards to the repairs they're doing to the infrastructure of the state. And I also believe uh, the my lead doctor, the um, from the Department of Health and Human Services, speaking on in regards to the so-called BM01 virus. Understood. Don't know why everyone's making such a big fuss about it, but here we are. Oh man, yeah, the, <laughs> I love that the governor is just downplaying the virus so much. Uh, currently, it sits at uh, 1,500 cases of BM01. It is now transmittable uh, via, like, you know, coughing, sneezing, uh, anything like that. But uh, the government is downplaying it. And also, I don't think they're doing anything about the reservoir. I think the reservoir is still infected, and the virus continues to just fester there. And we can't use that reservoir, so the city is down to one reservoir, one of which is not affected. And uh, some people in the comments were saying like, oh, Blaine County is, you know, must be feeling it too. No, the reservoir is, uh, uh, I'm going to make this hard for myself in post. I'm going to put a map here. Uh, this is the reservoir that's affected, and then uh, nothing, everything south of that, like the city, is affected because the city gets the water from that reservoir. It no longer does. It's currently getting it from... Okay. That didn't happen on their screen, I'm very sure. What's up? But, uh, yeah, um, the virus has only affected anyone that had that reservoir water, which is the city, which I'll put on the map as well. But not Blaine County. Oh, Jesus Christ. What? No. Okay, nice. Thank you. Alright, so, there we are. But please, Mr. Street, you first. Thank you. Thank you. If, if uh, y'all could, just a better for y'all to hear, you just move up to the middle row here. Alright. Where am I sitting? Would you like to stand uh, in front, or would you like to sit down somewhere? I think I might sit in the locker room for the time being until the press briefing begins and I get called up. I think that might be the best option. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that would... Got a few phone calls to me. Isn't there a door directly in there, isn't there? Or is there not? Yes. Um, so, once we go out this door, if we go straight out, it'll go straight into the front. Right, I'll, then... I'll go through that way instead of going through the back. And then if something were to happen, uh, where we need to get you out of here, then uh, we'll just go straight back into the engine bay. Of course. Cool. Okay. Governor, do you mind if I go join the uh, press briefing now so I can hear what's going of on? Of course. Of course. Thank you. If you need anything, just uh, send me a message. Will do. Will do. I wonder if they frisked people before uh, this all started. That way they could check the, you know, make sure no one's going to try and kill the governor. All right, ladies and gentlemen of the press, I'm Jack Samuel, Samuels, and I'm honored to stand here before you today as the press secretary of the Supreme Governor, uh, William Tarkin. The Supreme Governor will be joining us shortly, but joining me today uh, are going to be uh, Dr. Ter uh, Terry Callahan, 
our esteemed health secretary, whose tireless efforts uh, to safeguard the well-being of the citizens, and Mr. Butch Wrangler, the director of Public Works, who's been working tirelessly in these past few months. Together, we will stand united to our commitment of transparency, progress, and betterment of our society. The Supreme Governor will be joining us shortly, but let us begin. It's the Supreme Governor. Can't get over that. <laughs> Every time I hear it, I just Today, can't get over it. Today, we convene to confront and address the pivotal matters of great significance. Among us, among the topics that are commanding our attention are the aftermath of the recent tornado that ravaged our streets of San Andreas, a testament to both the resilience of our citizens and the challenges and the challenges we must collectively overcome. Additionally, we shall provide updates on the, art, the health of our Supreme Governor, William Tarkin, whose well-being is of the utmost importance to us all. Furthermore, we will delve into the latest revelations surrounding the BM-01 retrovirus, shedding crucial light on developments that demand our unwavering vigilance and proactive measures. I would now like to start onto the event that occurred on Thursday the 28th of March, a tornado that originated from a severe thunderstorm that came from the islands of Keoparika, touched down at 8060 Adams Appen Boulevard. That tornado continued through the city with multiple buildings collapsing due to it. At 1843, the LSMPD discovered the collapse of the Norquarter Freeway. This is still not in service due to the severe damage that has occurred to the interstate. This will be talked uh, about with the Director of Public Works in due time. The disaster caused 30 loyal citizens of San Andreas to lose their lives, with 55 still in the hospital and 20 of those still in critical condition. I would now like to ask all of you to stand in solidarity to give a moment of silence to commemorate the lives. Okay, thank you. You may all sit. Now everyone's going to have a hard time doing those emotes. <laughs> I would now like to introduce Dr. Terry Callahan, the Health Secretary, who will be talking about the BM-01 if, uh, virus and any information surrounding that. There was a barefoot lady here. I'm <laughs> just wanting to point that out. Sorry. I don't know why. <laughs> okay. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, as you've heard from the Press Secretary, I'm Dr. Terry Callahan. Um, we'll, we'll jump right into it. Um, Furthering on from our prior press releases and the prior conference, which I represented the Department of Health and Human Services, additional information has come to light regarding BM01. Um, the pertinent information is that BM01 has an incubation period of one to three days, meaning once you've been infected with it, it can take one to three days for your symptoms to take hold. Um, it, it's unknown how long the virus lasts for in the body. Our, our testing is continuing on as as it always has been we are working 24 7 night and day with our researchers and lab teams to figure out isolate cures vaccines symptoms for this virus as a whole um moving into further clarification you've all had most of the symptoms um obviously we still have the cough the sneeze um fevers and fatigue however there is a new symptom that has come to light um, this will be clarified in a later press release it is still being drafted by our team however in around 30 percent of those infected with bm01 um, it has been recorded that they have exhibited an arrhythmia um, it's otherwise known as supraventricular tachycardia um, additional information will be published in the press release However, to those in the healthcare field, it has already been circulated. Um, this, this once again underpins um, the necessity of testing that we have been attempting to reinforce through our press releases. It is imperative that every citizen in the state tests. You can get a free test kit from Great Ocean Medical Centre. It is the premier infectious disease hospital within the state of San Andreas. Um, We've had low test numbers so far. We've had 1,750 tests. Just for perspective, the state of San Andreas has a population of around 4.9 million. Um, 
out of those 1,750 tests, we've recorded 1,400 positive test results. Um, once again, it is imperative that you test. These test kits are free. They can be ordered from Great Ocean Medical Center, among other hospitals, which will be further clarified in press releases. Um, I, I have very limited information on how the Health and Human Services Department is handling the tornado as a very swift carry-on. Um, as the press secretary said, there are casualties, there are dead people. Um, these are the arrangements are being made with hospitals to better obviously assist in treating these people um i will be taking questions um sarah in the blue hood uh, yeah for those of us who aren't doctors here those big yep. words you mentioned uh about one of the symptoms what exactly does that mean in uh simple terms yep so um SVT, or supraventricular tachycardia, is an arrhythmia. It's essentially why well, your heart it is. Your heart normally beats in something we call sinus rhythm. Um, SVT is it, it's where your heart beats. It, it, it can last from a few minutes to a few days, and it's where your heart beats more than one hundred times a minute. Um, it something that can be treated in hospital it's something that some people do unfortunately live with um it's once again one of the symptoms that will just have to be managed with the bm01 virus until we can find a cure unfortunately thank you there's no other questions i'll be handing over to mr wrangler from public works sir in the vice coat I'm gonna just stand so you know it's me asking this question. <laughs> um, so since there's been so many cases in the county, uh, so, sorry, the state and everything, and it does have these uh, symptoms, are we ever gonna have a uh, statewide mask mandate or some like social distancing or anything like that to make sure people aren't spreading it to each other if they do have uh, the virus? At the moment, um, in the grand scheme of things, the infection numbers are low. Um, for those in the healthcare fields, full PPE has been recommended through emails sent to uh, teams such as San Andreas Emergency Medical Services, San Andreas Fire and Rescue, and you know, you know, the University Health Network. Um, as has always been stated in our press releases, masks are highly recommended. However, we are not planning on enforcing them through a mandate. Happiness. Uh, Mr. Bertram. All right, Public Works, we have had crews out working tirelessly to ensure that the public roads and infrastructure is safe for all citizens of San Andreas to utilize each day. Over this last weekend, we were able to do initial inspections and begin the cleanup and the preparation for the repairs, which we will be beginning in the following days. We are ready to step in and begin that work as soon as the weather allows us to. Uh, as a separate note for the La Puerta three-way, the uh, damage done, which was at mile marker 9, was much more intensive than the damage done up in the county. We have had crews working over this weekend and in the following days to clean up the area under the three-way on Vista Street Boulevard, and that is in hopes that we can hopefully have at least one lane each direction opened up to help with the best flow of traffic until we are able to fully reopen the three-way. Uh, unfortunately, the, the sense that they were more, much more intensive damage, we, we will take a longer time to reconstruct it. We are expecting the reconstruction to take around a month to reconstruct the section of the bridge that goes over Vesuchi Boulevard. We cannot be exactly sure on the exact date until we are closer to completion, but we will send out updates when we have that exact date. Uh, the timing will primarily depend on the weather during this reconstruction process as we need to ensure the weather is in our favor to ensure the materials are able to set properly. Thank you. I would now like to welcome the Supreme Governor of San Andreas to deliver a speech. Mr. Supreme Governor. Right, thank you, Jack. Can everyone hear me? Yeah, we got you, Gov. Thank you very much. 
Esteemed members of the media, ladies and gentlemen, as we gather today, I would first like to acknowledge those who have tragically lost their lives due to the recent weather events that have swept through our great state. Their memories shall forever be etched in our hearts, and their families remain in our thoughts and prayers. In their honor, I have ordered the creation of a crisis fund for all of those affected. This should help alleviate some of the stresses whilst they regroup and recover. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, now on to more pressing matter. Oh, wow. What After a much dick. deliberation with my <laughs> staff and law enforcement, I would like to address and confirm a matter of grave concern. On the 16th of March this year, I made an official visit to the Humane Labs Research Facility in an attempt to engage in dialogue with their research and development teams. This was in relation due to uh, the creation of a potential vaccine to combat the so-called BM01 virus. However, I can now confirm to you that during my visit, a reprehensible attempt on my life was made by a single party. With the quick thinking and action of my protection detail, I was quickly rushed to the BCSD headquarters and later airlifted to the Great Ocean Medical Center. Despite the many challenges faced, I am very grateful for the dedicated medical teams and hospital staff whose care has allowed me to recover and continue serving you as governor. However, these events are not isolated. They occurred in the backdrop of a larger crisis, one that now demands swift and immediate action. The BM01 virus continues to pose a significant threat to public health and safety. Coupled with the rising crime rates and the un unpredictable, unpredictable forces of extreme weather, it is now evident and, uh, that extraordinary measures are now required. Therefore, as of this moment, a state of emergency is hereby declared. Oh, yeah. This declaration will allow emergency services and state agencies to assist the general public when and where needed, along with allowing law enforcement to keep law and, law and order in the state. The state of emergency will remain in effect until further notice, as we work tirelessly to safeguard our citizens and restore stability in this great state. In these challenging times, let us unite with resilience and determination. Together, we shall overcome adversity and emerge stronger than ever before. Thank you all, and if you have any questions, I will now attempt to answer them for you. I just thought it'd be good. Yes, of course, you lady with the camera. Uh, yeah, so you... You said that you went to the Humane Labs for... What did you say? Vaccine research that they were doing? Why isn't a representative of the Humane Labs here currently to give a update on said vaccine <laughs> for this BMO1 virus? I wonder why. Well, right now, currently, there is no official action on the vaccine until such until I've just confirmed it. I was engaging in discussions with them to see if it is indeed viable and possible. I am not with Humane Lab, so uh, as to why they did not accept the invitation by my press secretary to have a, a representative of their team here, I have, I have no idea. Uh, yes, you, in the glass of the orange hair. Uh, yes, Governor. Uh, why would the he? Why would a person in Humane Lab attempt to assassinate you? I cannot possibly comment, as it is an ongoing investigation. However, the party is indeed known, and law enforcement are doing their best to investigate the matter. Yes, you in the Hawaiian shirt, sir. You mentioned you had an attempt on your life at Humane Labs. That party you do not wish to disclose. But uh, I'm sure the public would love to know why your friend, the scientist, a good old friend of yours, attempted to take your life, allegedly. Well, well, whilst it is true, the lead scientist on the research team, Dr. Ribbons, was my indeed close long term friend. However, I, I'm, I'm not honest, quite sure as to why you'd think you would be trying to take my life. The party that was uh, attempted such a thing uh, well, is known and is currently being investigated, and I'm not at liberty to identify the person right now. Hmm. Interesting. Yes, of course. 
continuing on that, uh, have you spoken to Mr. Ribbons in the past five days? I have not had the, uh, unfortunately, I have not had the ability to speak to him currently. I have have spoken to his staff, and he is unfortunately quite busy right now in, in terms of the projects he's got with Humane Labs. However, I hope to meet him this weekend. Like, quite busy. Do you mean 12 feet in the ground under your waters? I beg your pardon? Sorry, allegedly your orders. Well, I'm not going to dignify that with the response. Next question, please. Yes, of course, you were the camera. Um, can you go ahead and comment about the recent ongoings at the uh, City Hall with the Omers being around, claiming that that is their business? I, I unfortunately don't have any details on any of these so-called Omer people on, on any of my property, so I, I can't possibly comment on that right now. However, if I, I, I will urge that if you see anything suspicious around any of the uh, state buildings, then I highly recommend you report such dealings to the proper authority. So you're saying that you have no connection with anybody within the Omer family syndicate, whatever they want to call themselves, and yourself aren't taking or giving out orders to said individuals? I have no connection to any organized crime, and the mere fact that you get that notion, quite frankly, is offensive and reprehensible. I, I really do not like that question. Next, please. Yes, you, with the Hawaiian trip. So, this trip to Humane Labs, uh, this was a secret trip, wasn't it? Until now, and you did not wish to disclose with the public why you originally went, but now you feel like you need to, because you had your life, or an attempt on your life, at Aside. That is correct. This, the, 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 the trip that I did take to Humane Labs was considered more of a uh, under-the-books type of deal, primarily after discussion with my protection detail and my staff. It thought it best for both my life and also the development of this vaccine that we don't invite the media. Next question, please. How was that? Yes, you again. What 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 can I do? Heard something in the back room. Uh, a representative from the Lieutenant Governor's office has been uh, very kind to me, and he stated that you've been sending him out of state on business trips. Is this in a way to silence him so he doesn't continue to try and maybe become the governor one day, so you can remain in power and continue your tyranny of Los Santos? Sir, the Lieutenant Governor is a very busy person. While during my absence, he took up the mantle of being Governor, leading everyone and, and carrying out my, my plan, okay? Uh, yes, it is true that I have indeed sent the Lieutenant Governor out to a lot of business meetings across the country. However, I will not confirm that it is for anything other than the fact that I'm just a very busy person right now. I am dealing with this current crisis, and I guarantee you, if I were to go myself, the media, and more than likely you, would grill me for having to do so. Might I, might I say that the Lieutenant Governor volunteered his time to be sent out there, might I am? Mm -hmm. Any other questions? Yes, you with the camera again. Can you go ahead and confirm on the allegations of you being the sole person responsible for the outbreak of the BMO1 virus? Ooh. The conspiracy to have Humane Labs clean it up, which caused the contamination of the Tatavian Reservoir? Well, I, I have no idea where you got the notion that I'm solely responsible for this. I'm, I'm not quite sure where you got that information from. I, I've had nothing to do with that, and quite frankly, the mere notion that I have is quite offensive. Any other question? Yes, you and the Hawaiian shirt again. Might I suggest that it's beyond any other question, otherwise I will have to end this conflict. Last question for me, I promise, Mr. Tarkin. Did you attempt to have me killed? I beg your pardon. You heard me. I'm getting too close. You're getting scared. 
sir, whomever you might are, uh, I re regret and very much find that question very offensive that I might have a member of the public kill. That is very offensive. I've, I've got no connection to any criminal organization at all, and if you ask such questions again, I'm going to have to ask law enforcement to escort you from the room. Yeah, cowards. Sing you the coward, hide the truth. You know what you've done. Any other questions? What is going on with this guy? Who is this guy? No other questions, then I very much thank you for showing up uh, and very much for uh, asking questions. I do appreciate that. If you if you have any other concerns or questions, please email my press secretary and my personal secretary and they will forward the details on to me. Anything else? <laughs> thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I shall now pass the mic back to my press secretary and you enjoy the rest of your day. Alrighty, if any of you have any more questions at all, uh, myself, the health secretary... You let those two in the room. Uh, director of works will be in the council building. Master Street, next time, can you have a word with my press secretary? Next time a press conference is sorted like this, I would like all of the questions moderated beforehand. Why it wasn't done now, I don't know, but the mere fact that I was asked those questions, quite offensive, and I'm upset. Absolutely, I will have a strong word word with him about that. Thank you. Thank you very much. You guys are as lovely as ever. I think thank you for having an amazing time. Thank you very much. Give, uh, give your give your colonel my regards, please. Thank you. Yes, sir. You have an amazing thank you. day. From. Not quite sure where they got all their information from. However, I don't quite like being asked those questions. I don't like surprise. I'd like to know where he got that information. I reach out to our friends. I think we have something that requires their expertise. Absolutely. Do you think this is the same person who's been putting out those news briefings, uh, a memoir or something, a couple times recently? It's had some information in it that's the uh, need to know of our administration. Oh, I guarantee you. I guarantee you he is. And I, for one, do not like that being out in public. I would like to know who in my administration is leaking information to the media. I would like to know how the fact he's gotten a hold of information that uh, our poor Dr. Ribbons and Mr. Cycles have unfortunately met their mate. That is something I cannot have going out. If he knows about that, he knows a lot. And he has a lot of connections, or deep connections, I should say. Do you... Do you suspect anyone in your administration, or maybe with the Omers? Well, no one in my administration knew about this, other than you and my chief of staff, which I trust you to implicitly. So it has to be someone within our common friends oh and also it is also the uh, I think it is the uh, Surgeon General or whatever his name is uh, Dr. Callahan's birthday coming up but make sure to pick out a nice present for uh, for him from me I'm I can get him a perhaps a nice fruit basket arrangement some chocolates that works doesn't have to be anything too special. Yes, sir. Also, I have to ask, did we try to kill that gentleman in the Hawaiian shirt at some point? Up now, Mr. Street. We should know by now what we are capable of. Why should we why would we possibly have someone killed that could also be very useful in our court? Very true. answer your question blatantly no we did not although I'm 
kind of wishing we did. When I reach out to our mutual friends, is there uh, any particular orders you would like for them regarding that gentleman? I'd like him followed, preferably now. I would like to make sure I know who he is, where he comes from, what he does. And then after that, we can then tend to the issue at hand with appropriate action. Sounds like a plan, especially since he's getting information he shouldn't have. I'd quite like to know where he's getting it. Indeed. Have we made any progress on trying to find out whom this Dark Matter fellow is? So far, I have not heard anything new. I think, uh... I think we're dead in the water. Can't have that happen. Reach out to people, see if you can try and discreetly see if we can get an identity or some form of information on the fellow. Can't have him going around spreading any more secrets. I'll see if some of my contacts in the state can uh, try that. All we know is that they've been silent for some time, Dark Matter. No message since the first one. Some might think he's dead. Guarantee you he'll pin that on me. Find a way, I guarantee. Well, some are looking at him as some kind of villain. So maybe. That's good. We could use that to our advantage. Harper Street is biting his tongue right now. So just in short, you want me to get a gift for our good doctor and have our friend in the Hawaiian shirt followed. Also, I would like to um, just make it known that after recent events over the industrial district uh, that you asked me to do, I just want to let you know that that is something I'm willing to do as well as whatever is asked of me. I am quite capable. You've proven yourself more than trustworthy, Mr. Street. You've proven yourself more than capable. I, I know the type of person you are now. Hmm. And I very much appreciate what you've done for me. You've become invaluable. Thank you, sir. It means a lot to me to hear that. It really does for him. No, I see. I sometimes see myself in you, and I seem to think that you're more of a. more of a mentor to you, if that makes sense. I can see that. Anywho. Is there anything that I should be made aware of at all? I don't mean to, um overstep or perhaps show distrust in the people that you trust but when you were when we left Humane Labs um Chief of Staff Thawne was on the phone quite a bit I don't know to who perhaps it was one of our mutual friends I don't know but um he didn't show very much concern and because he knows so much and after what happened he is so close to you and is able to get close I would be remiss if I did not share with you that I feel a very small ember of suspicion about him it is possible However, I've known Thrawn majority of my life. We are very close friends. Then again, I was very close friends with Dr. Ribbons, and at that point, anything is possible. Thank you for sharing, with, sharing this with me. Yes, sir. I do believe sometimes those who are in the shadow of those with great power often want power for themselves when they find that they are stuck in a position that 
doesn't have any growth or ability to climb, they've reached a point where it can no longer progress or gain war power. So, perhaps that is something to keep in mind for the good governor. Of course. There is a phone number with, well, for our common friend. I'd suggest giving that a call whenever you can. Not sure it's going to be of use right now, however, if you need anything, call that up. Who is on the other end? Let's just say that you met him today. Really? Somebody in the crowd? Yeah. Yes, indeed. I do believe he loves tables. Hmm. The gentleman in the blue. Good to know. Is he, uh... Does he have any... specific traits that, uh, could be of use? He's very... Oh, let's just say he, he's... he's... You saw him... at the, um... industrial district with Dr. Ribbon. He's very, uh... Well, very creative with how he deals with situations. Very blunt, also. I see. Until next time, Mr. Street, I shall bid you adieu, as I've got a nap to take. No doubt. If you need anything, please give me a call. Of course, of course. Well, it doesn't seem like the governor suspects anything of Harper Street. However, Harper Street has now planted a little seed of suspicion with Chief of Staff Thrawn. Which is exactly what Harper wants. Harper would like to dismantle some of the trust in the administration with the governor. That way, it's easier for him to get even closer to the governor. But we'll see how that plays out. He does trust Thrawn with his life. They've known each other for a long time, but, as the governor said himself, Dr. Ribbons was also a very close friend. So it is entirely possible that Thawne could be behind the attempt on his life, or anything else for that matter. We really don't know. So yes, a state of emergency has been declared for San Andreas, which means it opens up the government to a lot more freedom to do what it needs to do to, uh, well, do whatever it's going to do for the government, uh, for the citizens, which is not a whole lot, considering, um, the governor has no interest in protecting the people. So, <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen there and what that can mean. But it seems that we have someone leaking information to the media and especially that guy in the Hawaiian shirt who we don't know who he is. He seems to think that the governor tried to kill him at one point, which I think the governor would have admitted to Harper about when directly questioned back at the mansion. And uh, he didn't get that answer. So I wonder what that guy's about and how he's getting his info because that is a lot of deep information like that is that is coming from a source close to the governor and surprisingly it's not harper street because even though harper street is dark matter uh he's not talking to anyone that we know of so he's a bit perplexed as to who this guy is <laughs> I don't know what that's going to mean, but we will find out. I can hear the drums in the distance. I can feel the fear, the resistance. Everything can change in an instant. You might stay alive if you listen. Your best friend is your instincts, don't think. 
Trust me, everything can change in a blink Hearts race, I can feel my heart pounding Hold our heads up and miss the chant, we'll be shouting This is war, you won't take me This is war, you can't break me It's just me, no saving I'm the only one who can save me So stand strong, stand tall, stay up, don't fall, give it up